to be. And I think that that's part of the problem. You can't just pave over this by saying, oh, okay, we'll just uh, view household income as the only thing that matters. Because I also actually think it should be possible for a wife to apply for her own credit card, even though she's married to someone and even though she's a stay-at-home mom. There's plenty of scenarios where it makes total sense for someone to have their individual credit card and be able to use that without being uh, associated with their, their husband and wife. Uh, D David, uh, after a, a number of back and forths uh, with Goldman Sachs, uh, I believe now your wife does have the same credit limit as you. Why, why do you think they ultimately did increase her credit limit to, to match yours? I think that's a great point, because this is a PR disaster. And actually, the fact that they raise her credit limit to be exactly the same as mine betrays the fact that there is no individual assessment here. There is just the fact that they had a PR disaster on their hand. Apple called us, which, by the way, again, also betrays the fact that Apple is not simply delegating this to Goldman Sachs. Apple is intimately involved with this. It was Apple managers who called my wife and said, we will review this. We're very sorry about this. We will bump your credit limit to be exactly the same as your husband. They didn't ask for any new documentation. They didn't ask for anything uh, that might have changed. They simply said, we will fix this. And do you know what? A VIP bump for me and my wife is not going to do anything to fix the structural issues that may be at play here. We need to have full transparency into the algorithms that credit card institutions use to assess credit. Otherwise, we can't audit these things. We simply have to take them at their word, and they haven't earned our word. David, uh, final question. Are you still uh, an Apple and, and Goldman Sachs customer, whether it's with the card or, or other products? Well, I'm still an Apple customer because I want Apple to do better. I believe Apple can do better. I was so excited when Apple decided to launch this credit card because they were going to do better. The whole reason my wife and I signed up for this card was because Apple was going to design this card. They were going to protect our privacy, stop selling purchasing data to data aggregators. And that was exciting. I think Apple just needs to do much better here. They can't simply slap a veneer on the status quo, business as usual, financial uh, chicanery. For Goldman Sachs, uh, I don't feel like I'm a customer of Goldman Sachs. I feel like I'm a customer of Apple. And the fact that Apple chooses to use Goldman Sachs as their implementer for this card is the same thing as though they use Foxconn to put their phones together. Do I go to Foxconn if I have an issue with my iPhone? Of course I don't. I go to Apple. This is an Apple product, and Apple owns this fully.